Howdy partners, it's your buddy John here. Welcome back. Last time we left off, um, this episode full of us hating Chad. Apparently he did something extremely stupid. Um, we left on a cliffhanger last time. We wanted to see how Isabella murders him. Okay. What part of Get Out was lost on you? I pull back from the door just in time to see... Time for Chad to come brushing past me. Not one frickin' word. Not one word. Okay. As I hear the front door slam, I find myself unsure what to do now. Whether I should go to Isabella or let her have her privacy? It's okay, Max. I heard him talking. You just come in here. Her voice is muffled and strained when she calls out to me. As I enter the room, I can see it's because she's face down in her pillow. Now I feel sad. Oh, close the door, would you? I close the door behind me as I head over to, and sit on the bed near Isabella's feet. So, how much did you hear? Pretty much the whole thing, I think. I woke up when you shrieked at him. Could have woken the dead, uh, Isabella? Did he try to cheat on you? No, not that I was expecting. What? Not that I was... No, that I was expecting. He's a football star. He can get as much play as he wants. I guess that's really the problem. He wanted to eat his cake and have it too. He told me he'd asked another woman to go out with us. Uh, that's creepy. Isabella makes sarcastic air quotes around us. I'm guessing he didn't exactly ask her about her opinion first. That's some balls on that dude, for sure. Unbelievable. Oh, please, like the idea is not running through your head right now. Um... Sure, now that she said it. Yeah, but not before, though. Not that I'll admit it to her. Either way. No, it really is unbelievable. It's well, like you said... Uh-huh, freaking boys. Um, look at you pretending to be mature. Offer to, what? Offer to stay with her tonight. What? Uh... Don't know what you meant. Bash on Chad. That seems like the wrong way to go, but this just sounds weird. I don't know what they mean by stay. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't want to seem creepy, but look, do you need some company for a bit? That seemed pretty rough. I can go grab some snacks or something, just, you know, hang out. Isabel sighs and chuckles bitterly. It's not my first breakup, and it's clearly not... So, it's not my first breakup, and it's certainly not my first breakup because some idiot misunderstood who I am. It's sweet of you to offer, but I'll be fine. You should get some sleep. Sorry. Woke you up. Uh-huh. I refrain from mentioning whose scream woke me up. While I wave and head out the, the room, I think we made the right choice. It just sounded weird the way they phrased it. <laughs> Isabella's head sinks back on the pillow, and I hurry out before I can see something she doesn't want me to. Uh, it. Uh, uh. Uh, you're drooling a bit. I didn't want to see that. Uh, I head back to my own room and try to get back to sleep. Hopefully Isabella will be okay. Hopefully. Okay. Now last time I went through and I tried to get everything here set up. I think I'm getting close here. We might actually be able to hit the right amount of organized and rational before we hit uh, spring break. I hope. I hope we hit it. Um, see, we're getting pretty close here on organized. We just have a little bit over 20, I think, to go. Under 20, actually. Um, we have about 15 left on rational. Oh, wow, that Wow, that jumped up a lot. Okay, never mind, we have five left on Rational. Then we'll start focusing almost completely on Organized, I think. Yeah. Okay. But I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it, guys. Mm-hmm. Not due until tomorrow, but... what? Mm-hmm. Great day at work. Okay, new event. Everyone's covered in green today. Heck, everything is except me, but that's okay. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. Well, this is the episode where we offend the Irish. Um, don't get me wrong, I love St. Patrick's Day. If you're going to make up a holiday, a holiday for getting drunk is about as good as it gets. 
don't think that's what the holiday's for, but okay. You know the old rules. If you're not wearing green, you get a pinch. And nothing invites the ladies to get a little touchy-feely like an excuse to give a cute stud a pinch. What? I've already gotten a few cute co-eds eager to pinch the non-believer. At any rate, I'm sure the folks at the Latin House are planning some kind of blowout bash regardless of Dominic's desires, of course. I've been in my room the last few hours wondering if I want to try to sneak out before it gets started. Play the event, why not? I could probably find a party way hotter than what Dominic's, Dominic would let us throw, but uh, nah, it's always better getting drunk with friends. That's the attitude to take. I'm sure we can drink Dominic under a table and then we can have some real fun. Spend the next hour or so going through my special hidden stash. Hopefully we've got some green food coloring or something. Uh-huh. If I'm not heading out to the wild parties, I may as well make the party here as well as possible. When I hear a knock on my door, I'm ready for whatever the night holds. Rakesh, okay. Hey, Max, Isabel says she's got a whole slew of games for us tonight, so you should get your ass in gear before I drink all the good booze. Uh-huh. Given how mopey Isabel's been since she broke up with Chad, I'm surprised she's this invested in St. Patrick's Day. Maybe she's just using the party as an excuse to get over her ex-boyfriend. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Let me turn up the sound real quick. Is that... What is that in the background? <sighs> okay, moving on. I follow Rakesh down the stairs where I see that crew has been busy. There are cars laid out, green beer, and some kind of green punch in a giant bowl. This is going to be terrible. Uh, so, what's the proof on that punch, Isabella? It'll put hair in your chest, then knock those hairs out and grow all new, stronger super hairs. Right. Sounds like my kind of drink. Um... I reach up a hand and high-five Isabella while going to get a glass of punch. Just for good measure, I slip a bit of concoction I was working on earlier in my room in there. I can see Anne eyeing me from across the room. I give her a wink, and she just shakes her head. Come on, Anne. Come, come, come. You want some? Come on. Uh, one sip later, I swear my vision went blurry for a second. Oh, yeah, this is the good stuff. Where's Dominic? I'm surprised he lets you get away with this. Isabel just grins and points over to the study nook, sitting there tied at the wrists and ankles wearing a blindfold, and gag is Dominic, hanging around his neck as a sign that simply says, Kiss me, I'm Irish. Okay, all right, moving on. Moving on. I can almost see his frown deepen as he hears me guffawing at his predicament. This is perfect. See, this way he has plausible deniability if anyone finds out about the party. Not his fault he was tied up by desperados. Um, <laughs> everyone laughs at that. Well, everyone except Dominic. Uh, okay. Enough of this small talk. Tonight we test the luck of the Irish. Which one of us is Irish? I, you see, this is the problem. Um, quite you. First pin the shamrock on the leprechaun. On the leprechaun. Oh, oh Dominic? The alcohol starts flowing free early and freely. And I can and I take all I can get. I don't know how we did it, but somehow between Isabel's punch and my own concoction, we made some of the tastiest liquor I've ever had. Luckily, Isabel's games begin to take progressively less skill and progressively more drinking. Play a bunch of different silly party games with drunken penalties. Isabella even got her hands on a snake-shaped piñata. When we finally managed to drunkenly beat it open, it was full of jello shots and plas little plastic cups. Turns out Rakesh had actually made it special. <sighs> finally, after a while, we're all sitting on the floor around the study nook. Dominic continued struggling to get out of his bindings as we started playing a simple game of truth or dare. Okay, I choose Sally. Okay, dare. I... <sighs> Last time something like this happened, we, um, had a very awkward moment. Let's not let this happen again. Let out the loud, loudest boat you can. That's gross, Rakesh. Too bad 
you have chosen to be daring. Jelly Sally takes a drink of the punch, weaving in a place a little before taking a deep breath and letting out the smallest burp any of us have heard. Everyone laughs as Sally turns bright red. Okay. I can't just slurp on command. Shut up. Whatever, it's my turn now. Sally turns toward me with a wicked look in her eyes. Oh no. Where is this going? Okay, Max, truth or dare? Um, I don't want either or all right, dare. All right, dare. Okay, I dare you to... Are you kidding me? It's, yeah. Okay. Anne covers her eyes as I sigh and turn around. I notice she's peeking through her fingers. Oh, you like the show, Anne, huh? Well, I hope everybody does. This is just awkward. Okay. Okay. Maybe I milk it a bit, but I've always been the type to put on a show. Finally, I... Thank you. Happy? All right. Nice one, Max. Your turn now. Okay, I choose Isabella. We continue around the circle like that for another few hours. In the morning, I wake up in my own bed feeling like death is trying out a new drum solo behind my sinuses. I can only vaguely remember making my way back upstairs, but everything feels fuzzy. I head downstairs towards the kitchen for a bit of water, only to find everyone else standing at the bottom of the stairs. I go down to them and look in the same direction, and my jaw hits the floor. Don't tell me we never... Mm-hmm. Oh, we never untied. <laughs> Sitting in a chair in the study, silently fuming, Dominic waits to be untied. <laughs> Not it. Luckily, when it was all over, Rakesh lost the Rock, Paper, Scissors contest. The rest of us were well on our way to Isabel's cafe for some morning coffee before Dominic finally got set free. Well... Guys, that seems like a good place to call it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Very much appreciated. It really helps me out. We're getting there, I think. Um, so, yeah. Oh, new event. We'll do this next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.